450 guys in here, but they might just have changed up, I guess. So Linz with a good start here. Yep. Clement Lana getting an even better start taking the lead here. Oh, a lot of guys down in the first rhythm section. That was Morty Fabre for Fabrugeras going down. Clement Lana still going strong in the lead, followed by Connor Linz and Damien Sansi. You can see a fourth, quite a mess here. I think that was Owen Hillman getting past in the fourth place. We also have John, John Borguino, Jesse Callaway, Lars Henriksen taking oh, Jesse Callaway take down. <laughs> and then we have another guy messing up there. That's Morge again. Not having the best start of his life. What's up, Rico? For me, this is just a KTM fest right now. <laughs> I'm actually seeing surprisingly a lot of guys. There's quite a few Suzuki's here. Uh, oh, that was so close. So one guy at the start still. Not sure who that is. Oh, wow. Big pileup and all three of them going down with only one rider. That's Matthias Liedmann standing on the wheels. And he is going to get past. He, oh, taking oh. Alexis Vermerband back, taking him down. That was a brave move. Oh, a lot of people just thought, "Oh, that's Jeremy Seabolt actually on the only Yamaha." Seabolt currently in 14th place, 37 seconds behind the leader. And he gets taken down again. <laughs> I, I can see the lead one here. I think 96. Yeah, Linus Göransson as well uh, switched. Didn't he race 450s? I uh, think he switched down. I don't know. Göransson has always been a 250 rider to me. Not sure. Really. So this is just a big mess here. Clement Landa still going strong in the lead with a 7 second lead here. That's quite impressive already. To have such a big lead here. And have you tried out the track yet? Yeah. What did you think of it? Uh, it's actually kind of, kind of decent. It's nothing uh, spectacular, but it's not too hard either. It's just, I don't know, it was okay. Personally, I think it's the worst track of the year. I, there was a lot of jumps that just wasn't really making sense as they should. But, I mean, you have to find a flow in the track too, and I just couldn't find a flow as much as I wanted to. Conor Lin's still second place here. I'm, I'm curious to see whether people are going to double and Doing double double as Connor just does, yeah. and uh, I'm not really sure, but I, I would like to remember that we said that if you mess up, if you for some reason hit another guy when doing double double instead of triple wall, you are going to be blamed. Even if there is the other guy's more or less landing on you, it's still going to be your responsibility. Connor yeah. messing up there. We have Damon Sansi in third, so Sansi being 17 seconds off of the leader. But that doesn't matter because as of right now he's straight through to a transfer. See what we have here. Asker Roland having the last transfer spot as of now. With two ups to go. Jesse Holloway just behind. So this is going to be interesting, he has Ludwig Bonn in front and Asker Roland gets off the bike there. So Linus Göransson is currently 10th, he's going to have to chase down Jesse Callaway for the last transfer position. See if Seabolt is trying a charge here at the end when he gets some clear track. Seabolt is currently 11th and he is roughly seven seconds off of ninth so he has he has his work cut out for him but he is fast and he showed that in rf by pretty much winning everything he entered on the east uh, west coast so a seabolt yeah. deciding to do triple and wall interesting there to see but i'm i gotta say clement lana looking good up front yeah for sure and then Coralin's still good. doing that line. 
And as we said, it's it is legal. We, you won't be banned uh, if you just oh, do that. Goes down, so. so the seven ninety four yeah, for Walter Gebhardt is going to repass him. But Walter for actually seemingly letting Conrad buy as he should. Uh, so Colonel Lins has had made up time on uh, Atlanta every lap. He uh, clearly gains. Uh, I, I don't know how much do you think you gain from jumping that uh, wall jump at the end. I don't know. I I discussed it with Maxim Tyson, and he said roughly a second uh, was his estimation. I did that line from a hot lap because I sort of messed up, so I wouldn't have gotten a hot lap. Unless I did that line, so. But you can make up quite some time here. Uh, if we go backwards, we can see that last transposition is still Jesse Callway. We'll have Linus Grunson quite a bit behind here. And I don't think La Linus is going to catch him just by being fast. Clement Lana wins the heat uh, ahead of Connor Lins. Great racing by those who gas up in front there. Really impressive oh, how yeah. consistent they could be. And there's a pile up. The rider down is Jesse Callaway, so Linus Gerson is going to move on to ninth place with another Swedish guy in front of him, Matthias Liedman. Same team as well. Their art reflex designs. Let's see if they can uh, stay on two wheels. Oh, and he's gonna land on. Who was that? That is the 320 of. Jordan De Bruyne, but yeah. it looks like Matthias Lehmann is going to. And uh, look at Jordan here. What? What? Uh, oh, he actually landed that. That was impressive. Gotta have some super suspension. What's up, Michael? <laughs> so Matthias Lehmann is going to take the last transposition. And uh, yeah, we can see here Connor Lins and uh, Jeremy Seabolt are the only ones uh, breaking the one minute mark, and those two were the only ones I saw doing the wall jump line. So you probably make a second or so at least. So that was the first 250 heat here. <coughs> Just going to grab some throat clean thing. So we should have Moto 2 up here in a minute, or perhaps Heat 2, you should say. Connor Lewis with a 58 and 19 as the fastest lap time. So yep. that was the fastest lap of the race. Quite a basic time there. A warm up lap now? Yes. I'm probably going to time out as usual. We have Alana Solis, we have Edward Mora, Victor Nykopt, Yannick Müller, Seberg, Chase Dunnevin, see if he can make the main this time. Ole Sundberg, Stefan Guido. Good heat. I talked to Janik a few days ago and he's actually switching to first person view from third. And the reason was because he was bored pretty much, so he just thought he could switch. So that's stupid reason. Uh, in my opinion. But I <laughs> guess if he wants, he can do that. But I feel like if you're a pro in one, then it's unnecessary to really switch. And we have Alana here in second place, and I think he qualified second here. Oh, he's in first, but qualified second, so Alana's yeah. for sure feeling the track tonight. There yeah, was a big a bit of a pile up there uh, at the beginning, so Alana Solis first and Frederick Gangegaard in second. But this is also only the warm-up lap. Yeah, oh, that's true. I 
Oh yeah, and I saw that now, Janik Mueller. Hashtag learning first person. Yeah. And Alamas wishes he could get... Alana seems to hope to get such a good start in the main event too, and I really hope it does. So looking here at the points, we can see that Conor Lynch is leading in front of Victor Nykot, Chromie, Clement Lana and Janik Mueller. So uh, quite a stacked field here. And I haven't seen Chromie tonight, uh, uh, might be no. my mistake though. No, he was not in the first heat and he's not in this one. So I'm guessing it he seems like he is going to lose even more points. So I guess he for some reason has given up on this championship. So let's spectate allowance here for the start. See if he can replicate that start here. So we have Tanner Rodriguez in the chat here and he says the same thing. I can't imagine switching being very easy though. But no. I guess if you're pro it's, uh, it doesn't take too long. So Victor Nykert with the whole shot here? Yeah, Nykert for sure being fast and we have some diversity in chat here because Nykert is not running his name as he should. However, he is running the correct number. So Tanner Rodriguez switched back in 2014 from 3rd to 1st. Took me a month to get used to it. I mean, if you're already good in one, I could imagine that you have the technique, so you just have to sort of transfer when you should do and how things look. How how did you place Asker? What what happened to the controller? Nikot taking somebody down. Uh, yeah, so so switching around. It would more in the lead now. Yeah, more of having Nikot. a good race here. Victor Nykert down to fourth, but it's very close. Look, it's like four people in one corner, oh, and Victor no. Nykert got down, goes down. Elliot Phillips in second place, and Phillips st started uh, out here as as an amateur, really. So f Elliot's just showing that he actually belongs in his pro class. Really yeah, fun to see me. people moving up and actually doing good. Fred Lagangegaard, long time oh, sim and player. Elliot's actually going to take over the lead now, so he's definitely going, doing good. Oh yeah, look at that. Just passing... Uh, oh, they're side by side. Oh, so close. Oh, oh no. that was. I mean, that's more, racing. Yeah, it went more. I made a <laughs> aggressive pass. Yeah. I, oh, oh wow, and that was 58 of Will Whitley taking him down too. So Elliot Phillips from first to 12th in like one corner. That's not how you want to make things. That's not a good laugh. So Nykot still second place. Uh, I am kind of split here. Uh, Stefan Guido is having the last position, uh, transfer position as of now. Uh, Elliot Phillips is uh, charging him down though. So we'll see how that goes. We also have Chase Dunamant outside transfer right now in 11th. And look and at this, Nykot just moving back down. Nykot now down to 10th as he takes down Mike Wallet as he passes him. So Nykot now in the last transfer position, and we're not used to seeing Nykot in this position. Oh. He's usually up front leading the heats, so... He has to stay on the wheels here. I mean, one more crash and he could be out potentially. Alanas is making some cr charge as well from through the pack. He's up to 11th right now. And Alanas had that awesome start in the warm up lap, so he's probably oh, somewhat he sad goes down. to have it go that way. Chase Dunmont, uh, 
battling it out here with uh, Alanas as they both try to chase down Victor Nyquist for the last transfer position. Well, Janek Muller seems to uh, do, do well in first person as well, third at the moment. Maybe he's just trolling us, riding in third all the time. <laughs> <laughs> we can't verify, so could be. But well, if you look at his lines here, we, it looks somewhat conservative. His yeah, riding. I, I think that was a mistake. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but he doesn't look as sure on the bike as he usually do. No, so this he, is not crashing. Yeah, for sure. I mean, not crashing is the biggest part there. Where will Whitley? Soon behind him in f fourth. I let Phillips down to fifth again, so well inside the top nine. Yeah, he's been going up and down this heat. Nikot finally up to sixth here with an incorrect name. Ben Sieber finally getting some good top nines here. Running for impact uh, in seventh place here, we have Stefano Guido and Chase Donovan right behind him as oh, Chase is going over the bar. <laughs> yeah, well, he didn't, didn't off bike though, so oh, oh, if he, okay. Oh wow! Oh, Alanas is on his tail now. So we have a battle here for the last transposition. Oh, good, go on board with Alanas here to see. Frederick Lagangard is actually not very far behind those two either, so... Yeah, we're about two seconds behind these guys, so for yeah. sure. Well, this could be a good battle. And if we look at this, we have a, quite a few guys in front of Chase Dunlap <laughs> yeah, exactly. as well. So it's a long conga line. So if somebody goes down, it could easily be a waterfall effect, whereas like one guy goes down and then all the rest of them goes. Yeah. Yeah. This With is the time where you should uh, not be s straight behind someone, I think. We do have Edward Mora in lead. Oh, oh look at that. There, there, it goes. It's Victor there it goes. That's Nikot and Chase. And Chase. Event, actually. Chase actually being a little better positioned to restart here. And have 68 of Ole Skalman behind him. No, it's Ole Sundberg actually. Oh, my bad, Ole Sundberg. Oh, and Chase goes squiggly and goes down in the whoops, so that's probably oh. last chance for Chase. Yeah, did, did you see what, what happened? I just looked uh, away for a second. Yeah, he just got squiggly by himself in the whoops and went down. So. Oh, oh, oh Nikot clipping. Nikot hits, <laughs> hits the pole. It goes down. Wow. Somebody types Maxim Tyson in chat. Not sure why, really. Conga line, I love it. So, people seem to enjoy your humor in chat there. <laughs> Sounds good Swedish humor. So congratulations here to Edward Mora for winning. Uh, and Ole, Ole Sundberg takes the last spot. Uh, yeah. Uh, Fred Heder, second place. Will Whitley third, Ben Seberg, Elliot Phillips, Alan Shuli. So Alan is actually making it into the main here. Uh, Stefan Guido, Janik Muller and Ole Sundberg is going to move on to the main event here. Everyone else will have to go to the LCQ. Victor Nykat didn't have a very good heat there. So mm -hmm. let's switch over to the screenshots here for a bit. Well, the whole point about the new snapshot actually worked. Uh, people aren't using the old ones anymore. <laughs> no, but I, I mean, you can, uh, you can force I to. Yeah, I see like one old KTM uh, but uh, I saw Seabolt running the old uh, Yamaha, I think. Uh, yeah, it could be like that. Uh, we have Connor oh. Lynch being a funny guy in the that changing his name. 
Uh, okay. I'm not really sure. We are going to have to have a talk about this after here, I think. Uh, we have actually Will Whitley running the 2009 KTM still. And he seems to be the only one running a 2009 bike, as everyone else is running the 2016 KTM in the heat. Yeah. And the only other one uh, was Seabolt, I think. Yeah, yeah. Could be that way. I'll be back in just a brief second here. Okay, so uh, first SX1 heat coming up, 450 heat. Looks like we're only going to have 14 guys riding here. That's impressive. I love when people do this. Okay, so we actually have some pretty hard hitters in this one with Hunter Root and Jonathan Olson in this first, first heat. It's going to be interesting for sure here to see. We yeah. also have Matthew Messier and James Armstrong. Yeah, there's, they've been actually improving a lot lately, I think. Uh, I think Armstrong has wins in RF. Uh, I am a little bit not up to details there, but I think he has someone in RF. So there seems to be some uh, question about numbering right now. Uh, me neither. I am sort of lost here. Yeah, we're still waiting for um, the heat. Okay, so first heat start now. See. Sorry, missed the start here. Jonathan Olson is with a early hole shot. Do you see how squarely Olson got? 
Hunt, yeah. Hunter Root. Oh, and Jonathan also goes down. Hunter Root goes away with an early lead here. Marcus Anderson is in second place, and Rush Chapman in third. That was that was a big lead, uh, <coughs> big liner from Hunter. I unfortunately I did not see what he did, but he singled in and it looked like he crawled it before that single. It's going to be interesting here to watch him ride. Yeah, his uh, qualifying time was blistering fast. What? 54 or something, I think. 54, man, that's 8 seconds faster than mine. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like... Oh, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> really takes a toll on your confidence, doesn't it? Not These really. Days. I just realized how slow I am. Yeah. I mean, I've had great racing both... Oh, oh buddy. Root oh just God. launching over the burn. <laughs> Yard sale out there, okay. So Matthew Moiseron now uh, takes over the lead here. So, uh, Rush Chapman going to be second place here. Uh, then Hunter Root and Jonathan Olsen. Some big, big names up in top. Maxim Tyson is running good in sixth. The only one not running the eight yet, looks like. Uh, I see quite some bikes here, so I can tell, but I'm going with you there. That one. Okay. Yeah, no, we actually have Bruno Goslar uh, in the 14th place on the KX450 2016. So we have both our admins in this race here, or both our hosters. Uh, I'm not too much, not doing too much here as I am streaming. So Tyson nicely placed for the main event here. Yeah, sure. Brock Poppy is actually running a 250F in this heat. <laughs> I don't know what the rules no, are. No, he is running a 350. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Quad over oh, wall. The wall. Oh, man, I'm missing all of these things. I. What What am I missing? I... <laughs> Brock Pappy goes over the wall. Oh, look at that Hunter's line. Triple oh, in nice. and then. Yeah, I'm watching Roots here on this. I'm going to have to see what he does. He's just so stupidly fast, as I like to call that. <coughs> oh, and he takes the inside line. Oh, that wasn't very good. <laughs> that that inside line is so. It feels That's like. That's a very interesting line, actually. It feels like a cone, like brick, and then you just removed some bricks, like to make a rut out of it. It's it's hard to explain, but it it's not really. That rut doesn't feel very good. Pretty big mistakes here. Jonathan Olsen is closing in on him, actually. And Matt Monsieur on third here. Uh, Anthony Bernard fourth. Uh, Maxim Tyson fifth. So Tyson definitely having a good race here. Brock Papi is sixth. Dora Merritt seventh. Rush oh, Chapman actually quad eight in that first section as well. Yeah, oh, well, we have a few people going down here. We have Mark Sanderson. Going oh. down with Egert Veldson. And now we have Rasmus Brose. Oh, Egert Veldson going over the Burma route. Down. Just something happened. So Jonathan also is actually going to take over the lead there. Yeah. And Root just coming onto the track super fast. And Matthew Moseron actually got by as well. Maxim Tyson is in uh, fourth place. Really good ride by, by him. Tyson really picking it up here. And Root t still taking the inside line. I'm quite surprised as I didn't know it was that good. And I mean, that line by Root is just. Now I can really see where he gets his 54 from. That line is so huge. Oh, and. Jonathan Olsen goes down. No! Oh, there was a lapper. No, there was actually Matthew Musseron that went down. So. Man, that's amazing. Is there any quads this? So triple. Then he quads this, I think. Two, and singles out. Yeah. yeah. So three, four, one there. I mean. Hunter, quad, root. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. It's just quadding everything. Like, oh, this can be quadded, probably. And I'm surprised that he seems to be the only one taking that inside line. That inside line is so terrible in my opinion. So, uh, I don't know, really. Oh, really? Did you see that? Yeah, he did that last time around, too. I mean, that's Holy amazing. shit. And I mean, you got a time that really good. 
Oh, yeah, my. you have to land that really smoothly. <laughs> did you, you see? Like over -jump that. Did you see his front wheelie there? Oh yeah. Is there a glitch with upshifting, or is that just upshifting in the right time? Oh, he punched somebody there. Couldn't see who that was. Jonathan also still in lead here. Having a great race. I'm looking forward to seeing him, see him in the main event. Yeah, he's running really consistent. Uh. Ruth here again. Maxim Tyson third, and Matt Museum fourth, so two teammates in a row there. Armstrong down with Rush Chapman. Brock Papi eighth place. I just want to see if Hunter. Uh, he's not going to make it. Oh. That was a rough landing. Yeah. That was a really rough one. But Jonathan Olsen goes away with the... He, no, it's one more lap, actually. It's two more laps. It's eight laps in the yeah, 450 yeah, yeah, division. Yeah. So Root's right. still going to... I mean, that oh, was a 105.5 with that big fall-off, and my best time was a 102. That's stupid. Yeah. <laughs> so let's see here. The battle with the f of the teammates here between uh, Moiseron and uh, Maxim Tyson. For third. So it looks like Root is double upshifting, as mentioned in chat. I don't really know if that's a glitch or just a good technique. No, he goes down a lot though, this heat, so... It feels like he's just trying to go hot lap, hot lap, hot lap, instead yeah, of actually Jonathan going also consistent. Yeah, also goes down. Yeah, off the, the track. And this will allow Matt Museum to get really close. It's about... Let's see here, when the timing gate updates, we have 5 seconds in difference. Maxim Tyson still remaining in 3rd place. And Root now 4th as he charges. Really good consistent from Tyson, really impressed by his ride actually. Oh, when I say that, he slides out. Oh, yeah. And there's Root. And so also, um, let's see here, back in the pack, we have Brock oh. Puppy. Hunter Root actually goes into uh, Tyson. <laughs> Tyson takes him high, <laughs> they both go down. Oh, this is, and Jonathan Olsen is down as well, and also, everyone is down in this... <laughs> in the lead here. We do have a battle here for the last round's position between Dorian Marot and it was Marcus Anderson as Hunter Ru Rush Chapman makes a mistake here. So Rush is oh just so close Ergert Velsen there. Marcus Anderson is also down at the finish line. Back up now. Oh So Jonathan Olson is going to take the heat victory here. Nice front flip over the finish line. So let's go back here to the battle for last transfer position. We have Rush Chapman in 10th and Marcus Anderson in 9th. And I'm looking for Rush here to be pretty careful because he has been banned for and disqualified from various EMF events in the past. So I'm quite sure that he will so this is going to be interesting. Rush is jumping over, and he passes. Oh, that was actually a very clean. Did pass. he? Did he take down Anthony Bernard right there? Uh, no, no. Uh, he left room at least. Yeah, I just didn't see. So, and Marcus Anderson is going to finish tenth, one position out of the transfer position. So we just have Egger Velson we're waiting for to finish. I believe that he's the yeah. any pros without a team here. I think most pros are on a team. It seems that way at least. So we have Jonathan Olson, Matt Mission, Maxim Tyson, Brock Papi, Hunt Roots, James Armstrong, Dora Marot, Ross Chapman, and Anton Bernard. Moving on.
so let's see here. So we're waiting for a second motor here to start. It will take a few seconds, minutes, something. So this is going to be fun to see who we have in the second heater. From past weeks I would expect uh, Tyson and Fjallberg being in there. Uh, yeah, we expect that, I think. Okay. Uh, Riskus and Tiainen as well. Fjellberg, Leelong should be in there. Santos. So quite a stacked field in the next one, it seems like. Yeah. yeah. Going to be for fun sure. to watch for sure. Uh, I got 12, I think. I actually had a lead in the amateur class, but I did not win. Apparently, no, I crashed and stuff, and I really did, didn't like the track. Yeah, I I actually had some time, that, like the next week after he said something, so I figured out I could I could try out that. I mean, it's it's prettier to look at the screenshots than my riding. I think we can all agree on that one. So we have Tianan here, Joel Daniels, Andrew Santos, Frederick Nyland. I mean, we have a stacked field here. Well, uh, see if someone can uh, match the blistering speed of Hunter Root in this one. It is going to be hard, but I mean, I think pretty much everyone could succeed Hunter Root's. Uh, consistency, because Hunter just had no consistency whatsoever. It seemed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that uh, that's dishes. No, it's actually uh, washing dishes. My girlfriend does that. Uh, we ate Chinese takeout today, and it's like 9:15 p.m. So it's way past food. Except for a night sandwich, that's a completely different story. So let's get back into racing here, so I don't forget that as I've done quite a few times here. Always just as embarrassing. My so sausage in the background? <laughs> Why not? Uh, let's see here. But Tyson Fresk is actually running a KX uh, dyno. Yeah, I mean, people are changing out. We have Craig Leak on a 2011 RMZ 450. We have Valtteri Tiannan on a uh, Yamaha 450 2016. And Tyson, as you said, on a KX 450. Uh, and Craig Leak, yeah, on a KX 450 too. But otherwise, pretty much everyone else has their 450. 2016 KTM. That was the wrong way to say it. And no, Melker, I generally don't like beer, so unfortunately I don't have a Norland gold here. I'm sure you have one in your hand though. So we have Tianan here, and I think Tianan might get the win here. I have a feeling for him here. Uh, Perhaps yeah. Tyson, but Tyson's still on the line. No? Tyson's actually riding. Yeah, he's riding. So I will see. I think consistency is uh, a big key. Yeah, yeah. I'm, as far as consistency, Hunt Root does not look good here. No, he, he crashed all. He, he was fast, but he crashed all over the place. Maybe he didn't care so much, and uh, because it was a heat race, uh, and just. So Malke apparently has two, two cases of beer behind him in the closet. No surprise. So Frescas with the whole shot. 
a big smooth one. Norrlands is pretty much Northerns uh, in Sweden. Stork no, I'm from Sweden. Yeah, it's a beer. <laughs> yes, yeah, so especially Norrlands Swedish beer. Just normal beer, pretty much. So Tyson here in the lead, nice. Just Craig Leak actually second place. I mean, nice look start. at Tyson. He looks so smooth here. He looks amazing. Have you, do you see his lines? <laughs> I don't know. That's that line was uh, not so smooth. Going down at that wall jump there. Yeah, obviously that's still the commentator's curse. No, yeah. I don't believe in that thing. I believe in my curse when I kick people. <laughs> oh, and Craig oh. Leak goes down. We have Frederick Nyland uh, back in uh, third place, so great for Nyland here. I wonder why it's so few guys actually in the heats. We have 14 14, that's 28 riders. Man, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't think that beer would make it over to the States. I very, very much don't think so. Unfortunately. I don't know. It's a very, very Swedish kind of beer. Yeah, you have to find your local Swede to deal you one, pretty much, I guess. Uh, so, Frick Nylon here, getting passed by Valtteri Tianas. Tianan just blasts through Yeah, he here. just blasted by. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> like that a... looked sick, that's... <laughs> 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 oh, so Frisk is running a 56.8, which is... Uh... He also that's... ran into the ground. Yeah, fastest lap I've seen today, I think. 56, yeah, I don't think, think I've seen anything below 57. No, I think so uh, Hunter Root uh, did a 57 flat, so... Pretty much, yeah. And just as I said, that Valtteri Tiainen actually made a 56.7, so... And we have Tiainen actually passing Craig Leak, as Leak almost went down. Uh, Valtteri looks good, really good here. I mean, Craig Leak looks fast here, he looks hungry for points. We have Andrew Santos in 4th, Frederick Nyland dropped down a little bit, back to 5th. Jason Soul 6th. Oh, um, that Tyson, yeah, Tyson went down on the last Supercross triple. Went Tyson. back to 3rd now. Oh yeah, look at that, behind Leak and... Uh, Tiannan. How we Oh, that... Jason Soul goes down in the sand. Yeah, Nyland goes squirrel and... Unfortunately, Soul got a short straw off that one. But he still remains in the transfer position as he gets back up in ninth place as... The 88 of Flora Kane right in front of him and... William St. Lawrence right behind. It's a free will battle for... It's only five guys going... Oh, Lawrence. qualifying, actually. Yeah, I oh, mean... Oh, both S William St. Lawrence and Florian Kane went down. Lawrence just went way into the bales. Right. Florian Kane went off to the side. Oh, man. So much chaos. Back up in lead, we have Tiana. Tiana. And Freshway's up to second place now. Has gone around Craig Leak. And Santos just... Behind those two guys as well, so let's go on board with Santos and see if he can get some good flow going. Just going off of the side of the finish line jump, nothing major, still remaining on the wheels. And as you yeah. said, we have only have 14 guys racing here, that's impressively low. If it would have been last round, I would have understood, but this is so in the middle of the season. This is 450 Heat 2. Uh, as we saw Craig Leak going down and Tyson looked to have problems in the bales. Leak is now down to 4th. Uh, Jason Soul, Kevin Letelier in 3rd, uh, 6th, uh, my bad. Frick Nyland 7th, so Nyland dropping backwards not the way he wants to. Jason Soul just re-entering the track in front of Nyland. Soul going off the track and he's actually going to drop out of a transfer position, I think. As he uh, gets past 
And Florian Kane actually went down as well, so this is... So yeah, look at that, he actually, by a hair, remained in there. Oh, so Florian Kane actually passes Jason Soul, doing the jumping the ball jump. And Jason Soul cuts back under. Nice pass there. And an update on Nyland here. Oh, Nyland back to 10th. He must have made a mistake. I was just going to say he was 8th, but apparently he made another mistake going back yet further. And Nyland is one of those guys that's been around forever. I think his UID is so low. Yeah. Made the pass there on Florian Kane, so he's up to 9th again. Wait, why is he in RMZ top 2? You mean KXF instead of RMZ? Yeah. Uh, so, in the order here, we have uh, Yamaha 450, KX, SXF, and KX uh, top 4. So definitely yep. interesting there that people are running something else than the KTM one. <laughs> no worries, man. I think you're getting more things right than I get on the stream and I stream, so... Always take my word with a grain of salt. We are actually watching Battle for 8th here. As Jason Soul goes down, going to get passed yet again by Florian Kane. So it seems like these two guys have traded positions more times than I can count to. Tianan still in the lead, going strong. Looking really good there. Andrew Santos second place, quite a bit back, around 13 seconds. Then with Tyson, yet another two seconds roughly behind. Craig, Craig Leak still fourth, going strong. Kevin Lelong. William St. Laurent, I mean that's a good looking bike St. Laurent has there and I think the wheels look really good too, I like the big white uh, text spinning around there. Kevin Atelier, 6th place, Florian Kane 7th, Freak Nyland 8th, Jason Soul 9th, Jason Soul 10th so apparently I screwed up somewhere. Yeah, it's definitely, but in the 250 class it's still pretty much all KTM. I think I saw one, I think I saw one Weiser and one 09 KTM, so 250 is still dominated by KTMs. So TNN is going to take the lead in front of Andrew Santos and Tyson Freshquess. Frank Nyland currently holding the last transit position here as Jason Salt tries to get around him. Salt to the inside. No. And I mean, that was a good move by Sol. He checked up and that would have been almost a T-bone if he would have gotten into the side. Yeah, it was just showing that. It was good. Oh, it was look at this. Look there. at this. Nyland doing triple wall and Sol oh. not doing... Oh, Nyland going to push... Yeah, but he checked up to this... Uh Good sportsmanship there. He, oh, he noticed oh, oh pile there's up. a pile up there. Where's Nyland? Oh, just no. So Florian Kane is other side Florian of the. K oh yeah. He is going to be taken down by Joel Daniels. But that doesn't really matter because Ferg Nyland claimed the last transit spot there. Yeah, I mean, Frederick is has been all over the place. He went so much backwards. Felt bad for him. But he got got you represented in the main event, so no worries there. Uh, August. Yeah, uh, what's 